So let's talk about mittens. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, this morning, it was like one or two degrees outside and uh, I had to go outside and snow blow. And it was windy, it was, it was pretty cold. So uh, I thought, you know, it'd be really good to kind of continue to test out the army uh, mitten system. I don't know what, if it's really called that, I don't know what it's called, but basically it comes in three layers here, okay? So you have the, uh, this is just a wool liner, right? This is a trigger mitten wool liner uh, thing. Right, and then the, uh, I'm gonna call it the second layer. You'll understand why in a second here, okay? Is just these trigger mittens, okay? I got these all on eBay, by the way, which is where I would tell you to go find them. Um, or, you know, I'm sure you can find it in Army Surplus Store or whatever, but, you know, wool trigger mitten liner, right? Fits inside this uh, trigger mitten here. And uh, this thing's actually decently solid. Um, you know, it's got a, this is a real leather palm, which is really nice. And then uh, you can, you can uh, actuate a, a rifle trigger with this. Um, I've, I've done it, right? I've gone out and run these a little bit. And uh, not super insulated, really. You're relying on that wool liner for insulation. Um, but, you know, it does have a decently long cuff that goes down decently uh, well. And uh, you can tighten up this, uh, this wrist cord here, you know. And you can do that with your mitten on. It's a little bit of a pain, you know, to try to get dexterity here, but you can do it. Um, and you know, with these, you can definitely run down into the teens, just, just as is. Um, I will say, now full disclosure, I am trying to get, I have an order uh, online right now of just some thin wool uh, gloves that I'm gonna get, like some merino wool, just like thin glove liners, that I'm gonna try to triple layer this part of the system, right, so I'd wear my hands get cold easy, so you know may maybe you run hot and you don't need to have this problem. But I'm a little wimp, so uh, I want like glove liners. Then I would wear this mitten liner over that, right? And then I would run the the trigger mitten over that. Okay, so that would be my kind of preferred go-to three-layer system for me um, in order to to keep my hands from freezing. Now the other thing you can do is the Army also has these Arctic uh, big boy mittens here, these big monster chomper things here. And uh, these are composed of a, like this is like a M65 field, jack, field jacket liner type material here, okay? Uh, and then in this, this big mitten. And these are, again, pretty beefy. Um, you see, again, cuff comes down super far, okay? This is like a, some kind of, I don't know if that's a sheep's wool or what, uh, backer here, okay? And then again, leather palm, leather grip, all that stuff. Now, what I did when I was snow blowing today is, uh, first of all, I, I ran the glove, the wool liners, okay? And I started out with, and, and you can do this here, um, the trigger mitten liner here, okay? And then I ran this inside the huge uh, chomper uh, thing here. Let me loosen this up, okay? You can run this whole thing then in the mitten. Now, when you do that, dexterity is go just plummets, right? I mean, you're, down, you're talking about like a, a two, level two or three dexterity on a scale of one to 10. I mean, it's pretty bad. I can get some, some grippy power here between my thumb and my hand, but I mean, that's, that's really about it. Even like using my hand to try to curl in to get a grip up top here, it's iffy, okay? But your hand's gonna stay warm. <laughs> your hand is gonna stay warm. Like I said, one or two degrees outside, windy, cold, this is gonna keep your hand warm. So I think tactical application here, right? If you're out and you're patrolling and uh, you know, you're gonna be stopped, or again, it's just super cold and you just need to keep your hands warm. And if you have to get to a fight, yeah, you have to take your mitten off and then you can you know, at least get to your trigger mitten. Um, but if, you know, if it's just cold, like, cause cold will defeat you before the bad guys will, right? And you just need to keep your hands warm, man, this system is gonna work. Like it, it is gonna keep your hands warm. Now, after a while, because of that lack of dexterity, and, and I could, you know, I, had a, I have two dead man switches on the snowblower, right? So <clears throat> I could actuate that with this. Like I could get a, a grip on that. But after a while, it just, it's a lot of material to fight through. So I ditched the trigger mitten uh, exterior, right? And I just ran the liner in the uh, big mitten. 
And your, your dexterity improves probably another one or two points here in my, in my made-up dexterity scale. Okay, but now I can actually kind of get a grip on things a little bit. Um, you know, again, you can tighten these way down. And like that's, that's pretty good. Now my, my, the, like my tips of my fingers did get a little cold. Again, I, my fingers get cold easy, so you might not have this problem. Um, but, you know, by and large, I felt, I felt pretty good. I felt pretty toasty. And if I had, like I said, another individual uh, liner over or under the mitten liner, and then under here, I think I'd be pretty, pretty solid. But that's kind of the system I've been running. And what I like about this system is that you can run them all together, right? You could, when you're out, again, moving, patrolling, and it's cold, you can always keep your liners on, okay? You can run the trigger mittens, and then when you're stopped or, and or it gets really cold, you could just upgrade to the big, the big chopper mittens. Uh, or you could just run the big chopper mittens, knowing that if things get bad again, you're gonna have to ditch that mitten and you're only gonna run that wool liner in order to, to run your gun. You gotta decide how cold it is, how long you're gonna be out, likelihood of contact, blah, 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 blah. There's all kinds of tactical considerations. But I think this system between the, the liners, the big Arctic mittens, which these, these are heavy, um, and they, they'll take up a decent amount in a pack, right? But man, <laughs> they're gonna keep your fingers from getting cold, I'll tell you that. And then these trigger mittens, you know, between these three, being able to layer and pair them together as is appropriate, I think that gives you a lot of options, and I think it's actually a pretty well done system. Um, so it's gonna be my kind of go-to glove system for tactical operations stuff in the winter, because I think it does give you all that versatility with, while allowing your hands to stay mostly warm, and then actually be able to do what, again, it is that ever you still need to do. So. That's what I would recommend to you. Um, maybe you've had a little bit more experience with the system. I'm sure there's another, you know, uh, there's, there's better mittens out there. I have no doubt there are better mittens out there. But all in, I think I paid, I'd have to go back and look now on eBay, but I bet you I paid 20 or $30 just for these, right, for these together, and then maybe another $30 for these. So 60 bucks all in, and I have a total system. Now, are there better systems out there? Yeah, I'm sure there are. But is the juice worth the squeeze? Um, is the $200 you're gonna spend on those mittens um, worth it? Is, is it? is it gonna have the payoff? I mean, hey, if you got the money and you got the time, whatever, knock yourself out. I'm just saying for me, uh, this, this system I think is probably the most cost-effective system that I know of uh, when you can find these in surplus and eBay and stuff. So would highly recommend that you take a look at the Army Mitten system. And I think, especially for my friends north of that Mason-Dixon line, especially when it gets into that deep cold, and by that I mean, you know, sub-zero temperatures, windy, stuff like that, being able to throw on those Arctic mittens, man, it makes a difference. It really is helpful. Hope that gives you some ideas for layering your gloves in the winter. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>